Hey everybody, it's Bloody Custy Gamer here! Welcome back to more Richard Prime Trilogy! Okay, so anyways, uh, we got some more, uh, Aqua Reapers here inside the, uh, shafts of the, uh, Orphean frigate. Yeah, so we'll begin through the rest of the frigate in this episode, and then we'll be, uh, tackling a new area of the game, actually. Yeah, the, the final main area of the game, actually. Okay. Ah. So we got uh, a bunch of water aqua pirates in here, so... Yay! Fun stuff. Oh, okay, so I guess I didn't realize that, but apparently missiles will lock onto whatever enemy you are... Um, yeah, they'll lock onto whatever... Oh my god, what am I trying to say? They'll home it onto any, whatever enemy you're locked onto. I didn't realize that before. Oh my. That's always a cool effect, being able to see uh, Samus' uh, face on the... Visor, whenever you know, reflection, reflection of Samus' face in the visor. Although it was more impressive in the uh, original GameCube release. I mean, like with the Wii version, you can see that happening, but whatever. Anyways, we got some more conduits. I mean, what else is there? It's that's all they got for this. Uh, it's the same puzzle as always for this uh, area. Uh, I think there's a uh, three or four conduits in here. Oh, can you go in here? I never tried to go in here before. Oh. They just have a big, wide open area sitting right there. You can't go in. That's interesting. Okay, where are those conduits? Oh, one right there. And I'm pretty sure there's four, actually. Is there one? You know, I think... Ah. Uh, yeah, there's four of them. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Where are you, little buggers? This is probably, honestly, my least favorite part of the game. I mean, like, the rest of the game is freaking awesome and tons of fun, but, uh, yeah, this part is just bleh. Whatever. You see, whatever. Oh no, I'm doing my Skyward Sword Link voice. Better stop that right away. Uh. Okay, I, it, it, there can't be one up there, because, like, I already got that one, so there wouldn't be one right next to it. That'd be silly. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's one, like, a... It's, like, diagonal along the floor or something. I insist on not trying to use the... the thermal visor here, so I apologize for how long this might take. Wait, did I get this one? Okay, apparently I did Oh, what? I thought there was two more left. Okay. My bad. Took way longer than necessary to find. I probably brushed over it like three or four times, but whatever. Even experienced players will probably miss something. You probably noticed it, but I didn't, because I'm not the I'm not an outside set of eyes here. Come on. There we go. Okay, finally I get a chance to scan these things. I was wondering when I was going to get a chance to. Yep, Aquasax. Will burst when subject to an impact of trauma, believed to be in the same family as a Sapsec. This plant has similar features. It will burst when exposed to force. It's protective response keeps most creatures from feeding on it. Does it hurt? No, it doesn't seem to. Well, I mean, it doesn't seem to look like it would hurt, but whatever. Why take the risk? The pieces that come off probably hurt, but yeah, that's about it. Ah, uh, it's kind of funny to look at, actually. Alright, almost done. I promise we're almost done with this, uh, place. And, uh, now we got some water physics with the, uh, um, with the morph ball tunnel, even though we have the gravity suit, uh, so I guess it's, uh, yeah, I'm not sure why the water here isn't affected by the, well, it kind of is, but, like, it's still, it's still, you can, it's still floaty, that's what I'm trying to say. So it's kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, with the Hyperball, this is easier, but it's still not as easy as, like, say, the other... I think it affected as much as the other puzzles with involving the Warp Ball. But either way, you gotta do it to get the Synergy Tank. So it is what it is. Just got my walk. I'm kind of glad I did it, because my knees were starting to hurt. They were aching from the lack of exercise. So, I would not recommend taking that long off from exercising. It's bad for you. Go. Right, Jail Sack? Because he can just get killed just like that.
Okay, now this room right here is, uh, okay, so yeah, we're out of the, we're finally out of the frigate, and back in the actual town overworld, uh, and we've got seedlings. These enemies are really annoying, like, they actually, the spores that they shoot will actually be, um, they actually home in quite well on you, they're pretty hard to dodge, so I give them credit for that. So it's best to attack them from afar, that way they don't get you. But as I was about to say, this room right here is uh, actually where we would have ended up if we took the other elevator from Chozo Ruins. And, uh, but you have to go this way, you have to get into the room this way in order to open up all of it and be able to progress further. In fact, actually, this probably don't necessarily need to do, um, because the new area is actually below us, but, uh, I just want to get up here because there is still something we can get, and I might as well while I'm here. Um, but first we need to get rid of these dumb... Ah! That kind of distracted me. Oh god. Freeze it and then destroy it. There we go. Get that stupid seedling there. Come on. Get the seedling. Thank you. Oh, I thought I was going to miss that jump. Oh god, I didn't think it would fire that fast. The, the gas or whatever is firing. Okay. Now, I'm about to get something really early once again. Um, so look over there. You can see that there are water droplets appearing in mid-air. That's not... That's not... That's kind of weird, isn't it? So we can probably stand on whatever's there. And indeed we can. Now, if you use your beam, you can tell where the... Plat where this invisible platform ends. Yeah, there's an invisible platform, okay? There you go. There, I said it. But you can tell... Use your beam to p tell where it ends. And then, you can gauge from there how far of a jump you need to make. Get to the store, and there you go. An early expan uh, missile expansion you're not supposed to get yet, but yeah. I actually tried to pull this up in uh, Magmore Caverns like very early on in this LP, so. It's a fun fact there. But uh, it's not as easy with that because you can't tell. Um, there's no way to tell like where the platforms are exactly unless you like really got this down. Um, now, this is a spiral ball uh, formation here. Um, you can actually go up this if you want to, but you can't uh, progress past it. There is something important past it, but we can't get to it yet. Um, so with that all said, it is now time to head into that new area I keep on spoiling, or teasing, or whatever. I don't know. It is down below here, through this door. So, yeah, very much excited to go and explore a new area today. And uh, what do we got here? Intense radiation detected, yep. This room is full of that phase on stuff. So wherever we're headed, it's probably gonna be uh, just a plethora of that stuff. Let's find out. Let's see what we got here. Access to phase on mines east, granted. Oh boy, phase on mines. Yep. It's the last major area of the game. But we're gonna be here for quite a while. Just because we're at the last major area doesn't mean we're close to the end of the game, not quite. But, uh, yeah. Things are gonna get a little tougher here from here on out. Well, not that tough to me, but, uh, yeah, to, the ex to an unexperienced player, yes. So, once again, more of the phase on below us. So. Pretty much challenge we're gonna be running to a lot of that stuff here. Oh boy, this looks pretty ominous. Maybe a tad intimidating, but, uh, eh, won't be that bad. Okay, so we got a crane of sorts up here with, once again, more of those uh, points to, that could look like you could grab them. And right here we have the, the introduction of mega turrets. These are a lot more powerful than your seasoned turrets, or regular turrets, whatever. Primer defense turret reinforced with energy shielding. Frust frustrated with inferior armor plating on standard defense turrets, the space pirates added energy shielding to modify a heavy whip cannon. The new shielding increased beam strength makes the Mega Turret an efficient point defense weapon. So, needless to say, they take a lot more damage and they deal a lot more damage. So, we're going to need to be careful here. And use uh, it's a bit more powerful. Yeah, see, a single shot right there, that took half an energy tank. So, yeah, very big stuff. But, all it takes is a missile, super missile, and you're all good. Okay. Now, surprisingly, the space pirates haven't noticed this yet. We're literally staying directly below them in plain sight and they haven't seen us yet. It's, it's kind of weird. There's like a specific spot where, where you have to see them, essentially. Uh, 
right through here is the save station. Uh, I think I'll save that for later. I'll just come back to this one at the end of the episode. Okay. Now we have a uh, force field here we're gonna need to deactivate, but that's pretty simple. We just got these... I don't know why, but they just straight up put these scans right next to each other, so they're so easy to find. By the way, the space pirates in here, they're not gonna recognize you until a, until a cutscene plays, like, no joke. I don't know if they're actually triggered by the cutscene itself, but, uh, yeah, they don't, they don't seem to notice you until said cutscene plays out. Watch out for that explosive thing there. There we go. At least I'm pretty sure of that. Please say I'm right. Please be right. Oh, I guess not. Okay, I thought there was a cutscene that played when they see you. I guess not. Okay. Alright, well, thankfully we've got the right tools for the job here. That's me to make quick work of you guys. Or, you things. Yeah, things. There we go. Next we're going to... Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, I always forget about this trapdoor one that appears out of the wall or whatever. Or ceiling, whatever. I don't know. Apparently, don't know the difference between ceilings and walls. There we go. Now, if you want to, you can operate this crane to lead to a missile expansion. In fact, I'll do that now. Crane controls are functional but require power. Oh yeah, that's right, power. Anything requiring powering is uh, Nintendo. Yeah, because yeah, whatever. Okay, thank you. Control K. So we scan that will move the crane to the opposite direction of the room. And open up a missile expansion. Getting finding a lot of these lately. And there's not much keeping not much left keeping us from getting the rest of them, but uh, there's still a few things, so gotta continue on here. There we go. Interestingly enough, like just standing, like when you're on this area and you, in the morph ball mode, you can't, yeah, you can't get out of it. So it's kind of weird. Just I point that out. But now we can once we step off with the crane. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sam. Is I just stunned you there? There we go. That was pointless, but whatever. Okay. Get ready to face onslaught after onslaught of. Space pirates, because it's gonna get rough, and there's gonna be new kinds of space pirates too. So, big stuff here. There we go. Pretty sure. Oh, I guess not. Thought there'd be a Megator here, and there was. I think there was a spot right there for one, but I guess not. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Good, we're full of missiles. Oh. I could have scanned that to deactivate the turret, but I guess not. Too late for that. Alright. Oh! Shadow Pirates, great. Just great. Can you. Yeah, you can get these guys with it. I thought so. But I'd rather get the. with this. Oh, it didn't. I didn't get it. Oh, it's because I got just two of them. That's right. Err, err. Come on. Make the err sound. Make the err sound, please. This. There we go. Jeez. That took way longer than it was supposed to. I should have just used the thermal visor there. I realized that. Cool with the comments, I know what I'm doing. Oh, that's a new doorway I'm seeing yet. It looks red. I hate the color red. Nah, I don't mind it. Yeah, once again, keep an eye out for those explosives. Okay, now up here, I believe this is where we encountered the new type of pirates. Uh, let me see. Yep, here it comes. Okay, so these are beam weaponry based uh, pirates. Um, whatever color they are corresponds with the beam that they are weak to. So these are the wave troopers. Um, you can only damage them with the wave beam, essentially. So obviously there's going to be variants for the uh, power beam and the ice beam as well. So. Yeah. 
Be and that they're the same as any other pirates. Oh god, more? At this point, all I can do is just rapid fire, wave beam, or whatever at these guys. I can't really do much else. Door's been locked. Okay. Because, uh... This is probably kind of a spoiler sort of, of sorts, but, uh... There are gonna be, uh... Other... Versions, like, uh... I think they're called, like, beam combos, essentially. So, for the power beam, that was the super missile, where there's gonna be... Well, there's gonna be, uh... Um... Super missile equivalents for the, uh... Other types of beams as well, so... Keep that in mind. So we could've gone the... the the um, the wave beams combo, but it elected not to get it yet because there's you know, it's in a, again it's in a room with another thing I can't get, so that's why I didn't get it yet. It's back in that show of the ruins. <laughs> More of these shadow pirates. Yeah, I guess that's kind of, that's just kind of another way to challenge yourself is by not using the thermal visor. I know thermal visor, right, if you will. I, I already failed it, though, since I did the... I did in the first room that we saw them in. What's up? Hi, I am Samus. Hear me roar. Freeze! I should be quoting uh, the freeze. Was it Frosty from that, that awful Batman movie? Yeah, I should be quoting... I should be quoting them, actually. Alright. Now, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a pirate lore here, so let's keep an eye out for that. Recommended battle systems for elite pirates are as follows. Shoulder-mounted plasma, artillery cannon, repulsion shield, wave quake projector, energy siphon system, and retractable wrist bayonets. Okay. Here we go. Initial Project Helix experiments with space pirate embryos were disastrous. The phase on infusion process degenerated brain tissue even as it augmented muscle mass. None of what we have termed elite pirates sit light, live to maturity. The few that survived their infanthood suffered severe psychotic breakdowns as juveniles, killing anything within their zone of perception. Research team Slura made a recent breakthrough in which the parasite studies with the phason strain code named the Vertigo were highly successful. Since then, we have successfully fused Vertigo phason with the space pirate DNA with great success. The latest batch of elite pirates have reached maturity successfully and are ready for field testing and training. Uh oh. These elite pirates don't sound good. It's like to make some platforms in the room allowing us to progress. Uh, I wonder what this is. Elite Pirate Alpha? Huh. Bendesium. That's eh, probably not, not important. Okay. Let's get up here. Actually, um, we'll go ahead and stop there. So, next time on Metroid Prime Trilogy, we're going to make our way to the top of this room and further explore the Phazon Mines. So, see you guys, and thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.